Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to show you one of the very very important and interesting image processing operation and that is thresholding. What is that? Converting any image to binary image. So as you know binary means zeros and ones. Now how we can convert any image to binary image? The idea is very simple. Decide some particular threshold, any pixel intensity above that particular threshold map to zero or one and any pixel intensity below that particular threshold map to the reverse bit. If you are mapping uh, all the pixel intensity above the uh, particular threshold to 1, then map all the pixel intensity below the threshold to 0. If you are mapping all the pixel intensities above the particular threshold to 0, then map all the pixel intensities below that particular threshold to 1. As simple as that. So, uh, the decision of threshold is very very important. So for this particular purpose, I am taking one image from internet, I am converting to R from RGB to grey and I will be uh, showing that image and I am using IM pixel info to get the pixel information at any particular XY point, okay. So if I move my mouse pointer, you can see here pixel info XY and intensity is showing. So this is my background and these are the tennis balls. I want to segregate or basically segment these particular tennis balls from the background and as you can see the tennis balls are brighter compared to background so we will put our mouse pointer on the tennis balls we can see that the approximate value of the uh, intensity is more than 150 here here also more than 150 here also 170 like that and background if you move the mouse pointer see 100 okay 105 like that it is going so the fundamental idea is that if we just uh, properly judge the threshold value according to IM pixel info then we'll, there is a probability that our thresholding will perform more accurately okay now 150 let us check okay so I am taking the threshold value as input the, uh, deciding the size of there is rows and number of rows and columns present in our image creating one uh, zero matrix of same size where, where our binary image will be stored and then I am using one for do for traversing in the image each time I am comparing the particular pixel intensity is greater, greater than threshold or not if it is greater than threshold I am mapping to 1 else mapping to 0 okay and then showing that image so here my image comes we have taken proper decision click any key from the keyboard okay press any key from the keyboard because here I have used pause so pause require any key should be pressed from the keyboard otherwise it will not move uh, and execute the downward code okay now let me give the threshold value as 150 like here I have given and hit enter see how beautifully our uh, part of the tennis balls are segmented from the background right so this is called image segmentation using thresholding technique. We are segmenting a part of the image from the other part. Okay, here we are segmenting object with the background. Okay, so this is called image segmentation. Now it is not at all always possible for us to decide uh, using IM pixel info. So there is one global thresholding method proposed by our scientist Otsu. Okay, and that you can achieve using this particular inbuilt function gray thresh okay it will give us the global image threshold value using Otsush method okay what is your Otsush method for the time being you no need to know later in my some upcoming video I will discuss for sure okay so t equal to gray thresh i compute global threshold uh, t from grayscale image i using Otsush method okay Otsush method chooses a threshold value that minimizes the interclass variance of the thresholded black and white pixel okay so instead of going to much detail about the Osush method let me just copy the syntax of calculating the threshold value and paste here okay great trace i i am writing all right now here let me just run this particular okay in this time i don't require i am pixel info and the pause let me just run this particular part of the code sorry this will be gray trace x okay because my image is x okay and then if i run i will be getting my image let me just check what is the t value if you hit enter you will be getting 0 0.5020 you may think why because this one gives in double format okay 
and in double you know our range image range should be from 0 to 1 closer to 1 or above 1 means white closer to 0 means dark okay 0 to 1 range but our original image this one is in what format unsigned integer 8 so we need to convert to double okay so i am to double we need to do to convert the unsigned integer 8 bit representation to double image okay and then here we can write like this take if x of i j greater than t then map to 1 else map to 0 all right now let us run this whole code and let us check whether we are getting the thresholding operation or not okay so it will take some time see this is our thresholded one and this is our original image how beautifully ursus method is uh, able to detect or judge proper threshold level and according to that it is performing because proper threshold selection is very very important thing right because if you take very high threshold value then all the pixel intensity may go below that particular threshold and your image may be complete black if you take very low threshold value then in that case all the pixel uh, intensity may go above that particular threshold value and all whole image became white okay so this judgment should be done properly there is more uh, advanced algorithm of adaptive thresholding is also present i will discuss later in my upcoming video but for the time being try to understand how thresholding is done in matlab because in my many upcoming videos i will be using this okay thank you for watching